Maybelle Roper says every minute she spends with her family, including great-grandson Bryce and husband Kenny, is precious. She's holding my hand. You gonna get her? After being diagnosed with endocarditis. Endocarditis is an infection of the lining of the heart, uh, most typically the valves in the heart, due to a bacteria or a fungus. In the beginning, I had a feeling that it had fallen out, and it got infected, and I guess the infection went to the heart valves. Some patients may already have a slight heart abnormality, making them more susceptible to the valve infections. Take a big, deep breath in for me. This patient is undergoing a cardiac catheterization before surgery, so doctors can pinpoint the damage to the heart valves. He's got evidence of infection around his aortic valve. Dr. Andrew Wong from Duke University Medical Center and co-authors studied outcomes of more than 4,000 patients from 28 countries who developed endocarditis. They also assessed patients whose disease was complicated by heart failure. A high percentage of patients who have endocarditis develop heart failure, and oftentimes heart failure was very severe in those patients. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. About 60 percent of patients with heart failure do undergo surgery during their initial hospitalization for endocarditis. Here at Duke, cardiothoracic surgeon Dr. Donald Glauer leads a team that is replacing this patient's defective valve. Patients treated with surgery do better both during their initial hospitalization as well as at one year, and even patients with milder forms of heart failure that some physicians may feel comfortable treating medically did better with surgery compared to uh, no surgery. You ready for some lunch? Today, Mrs. Roper is feeling good. Doctors say her valves are working well. It was a long road, and she credits her husband for seeing her through the recovery. I'm hoping we grow real old together. I really do. <laughs> He's a good man. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.